South Wales town of Young is famous for its cherries. But for several decades it's also been manufacturing an important product used across Australia in industry and agriculture. The white stuff is the really good stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's the magnesium. Yeah. If you've ever eaten Australian cheese, there's a chance some of the minerals in it originally came from these rocks. They're burned at a very high temperature to produce magnesium oxide, which is often used as a supplement to prevent a potentially deadly deficiency in milk producing cows. We're very proud to say that we've been one of the largest and most consistent employers in the town of Young. Uh, a company has been established here for more than 70 years. But Cosmag International is an energy intensive operation, currently bleeding cash and customers. It estimates its kiln uses more than 80% of Young's gas. Its provider, Western Energy, was last month forced to shut its doors as prices surged. And Cosmag now says it's paying three and a half times more for gas than it was just two months ago. The cost of gas at the moment for some of our products is actually more than the cost of the product itself. It sounds uh, unbelievable, but that's the, the, the case today. Due to the sudden price jump, only a small number of customers are continuing to place orders. And if this plant has to shut down, even temporarily, it'll likely lose skilled workers that would be extremely difficult to replace in a town like Young. Well, it's been nothing short of a miracle that we're still around. We are losing money big time because our customers are sourcing their products from our competitors. And most of these products are actually made in China and imported into Australia. Prices are high globally because European countries are looking for non-Russian sources of gas due to the Kremlin's invasion of Ukraine. Back in Australia, that's coincided with a sudden cold snap, which has driven a spike in demand for gas heating. At the same time, more than a quarter of coal-fired power stations have recently experienced outages, meaning gas generators are facing more demand to help keep the nation's lights on, driving prices up even further. Well, we've been in government for two weeks. Two weeks. We had nine years of neglect from a government. Remember they used to talk about the gas-led recovery? <laughs> they talked about that for years. Well, where is it? After a decade of political climate wars, this gas price spike poses a very tricky problem for the new Labor government, and there doesn't appear to be a quick or easy fix. Industry warns jobs and local manufacturing capability are on the line. Some of the poorest Australians are bracing for bill shock this winter, and the high prices may further fuel inflation, adding to the pain being felt in households across the country. The situation baffles some minor party and independent politicians who say it is ridiculous that Australia, one of the world's biggest gas exporters, is facing a domestic gas price crisis. We produce more gas than you can poke a stick at. It is not fair to say that there is a gas shortage in Australia. Uh, we produce about 2.5 times the amount of gas we use. The problem is that we export too much. That's what needs to be solved. Gas prices in Western Australia are currently much cheaper than on the East Coast. The state forces big multinational companies to reserve around 15% of the gas produced for domestic use. Outgoing South Australian Senator Rex Patrick wants the government to implement a similar scheme in Eastern Australia. It's our gas. It belongs to Australians and Australians are entitled to a fair and reasonable price for what belongs to them. There are also calls for Labor to pull an emergency trigger that was set up five years ago. It would see more gas provided for domestic use, but not until next January. And over the past week, the new minister has remained non-committal. The government will take whatever action is necessary based on advice. We are not today ruling out or in any particular action going forward over and above what I've announced today. Anthony Albanese's team has made it clear it won't rush things and is well aware that suddenly diverting exports could cause diplomatic or trade problems with our allies in Asia who have signed long-term contracts for our gas and are also dealing with inflationary pressures of their own. The oil and gas sector is making extraordinary profits 
In Britain, Boris Johnson's Conservative government has partly funded a cost of living package for families and businesses struggling with bills by slapping a windfall tax on energy companies. Some analysts believe it's an idea worth exploring here. I think the government ought to consider a windfall tax. A lot of the gains to Australian gas and coal exporters are a windfall. They are not a consequence of their clever management. Unsurprisingly, the resources industry doesn't think a new tax is necessary. And the Labor government has already indicated it is unlikely to pursue the idea. It does have strong memories of the campaign it faced over the mining and carbon taxes when it was last in office. While the opposition, licking its wounds after a big election defeat, is rejecting suggestions it should have dealt better with rising gas prices when it was in power. Something needs to be done right away because this problem has been festering for the last two and a half months and it's happened repeatedly over the last five years and it will keep happening unless something is done permanently to fix this problem. Small manufacturers like Causemag and Young have no time for political bickering. They just want some sort of assistance so they can afford to keep paying their gas bills and they want it now. We don't have uh, a problem switching over to renewables, but uh, the fact is that at the moment there's no such option for a company like us and for hundreds of other companies all over Australia. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 730's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.